Nothing beats a day on the water with our family and friends. Listen in to some of our Strong's team members recall some of their favorite memories and what excites them about being out on the water in our superior day boat models. Hi, my name is Chris Suter. I'm sales manager for Strong's Marine Company Wide on the boat sales side, and I'll be starting my 18th year this coming May. What is my all-time favorite boating memory? That is a difficult question to answer. I'm sure if I had uh, hours to answer, I could give you multiple. Um, I've been on the water my entire life. Uh, I grew up as a summer kid out here on Long Island. I uh, decided to move permanently in 2001 and then raise my family out here. So for me, it started uh, when I was an infant, sailing uh, at under the age of three, uh, then fishing with my grandfather on his fishing boat, um, catching uh, puffer fish, uh, tickling their bellies, making them blow up, and then putting them overboard. Uh, so I, I kind of remember, remember that in the back of my mind and coming home with black trash bags full of fish because uh, we used to catch so many fish. Uh, that led into uh, my younger years, uh, both learning to sail in, in the yacht club, but then also ultimately teaching sailing uh, to kids. And then uh, getting into racing, racing in college, uh, sailboat wise, and then also uh, post-college, uh, a lot of trips to Key West and different parts of the U.S. on a, on a team. Uh, and then came full circle when I came back to, to live permanently. Uh, my oldest, Jackson, first time ever on the boat, he was less than eight weeks old. Um, and he was born in November. So it was a pretty late season spin around Robbins Island on a brokerage boat that I was in the process of selling in his car carrier next to the helm seat. And uh, he slept the whole way, but it was his first official boat ride. And then uh, getting to see him learn to wakeboard last summer was pretty special. And now my little guy is starting to get into it as well. So I, I would say there's a lot of good memories and it's hard just to pick one, but my entire life has been based on the water. What boat um, do we currently use? My family and I have a Regal 26 OBX, uh, which is actually based here at, at the Bay uh, Marina in Valet. Uh, we get to use it fairly often, uh, both my parents uh, and my immediate family. Uh, a typical day of boating for us is we're usually pretty busy in the morning doing things. So we'll get down here usually around lunchtime uh, with a packed lunch. We'll uh, get everybody together on the boat. We'll head out. Uh, generally, the kids will drive on the way out uh, under my guidance, obviously, but get them a little time behind the helm. Uh, we usually do a loop through Kutchog Harbor, kind of see what's going on. Um, and then from there, we'll, we'll head over to Robbins Island Cove, which is kind of our hangout. We'll drop the anchor. Uh, we'll set up the bimini. We'll fire up the tunes. Kids like to get the Bluetooth going with their uh, you know, radio and whatnot. And, uh, We'll just hang out. We'll have lunch as a family. We'll swim off the back. Uh, we may do some water sports. Um, we'll raft up with friends if there's friends out there. Uh, and usually um, spend a few hours and then we'll, use, we'll, we'll do a loop on the way back in uh, and then we'll come back. So we, we, we're a pretty busy group so we don't have tons of time but we'll get usually a good three, four hours as a group out on the boat. Uh, and then we'll go about our day doing our next stuff. So we, we try to incorporate that at least two times a week if possible. Uh, the new Regal LX series uh, was just launched in 2020. Uh, currently it's three models deep, the LX2, LX4, LX6. Uh, they're all outboard models. Uh, what's unique and what's great about them is um, it's kind of like a SUV on the water, if you will. Um, you get the, the, the day boating set up with arrangements of seating, um, but the best part of the seating on the LX series is it's all multifunctional. So you can do a lot of different things with the seats. There's ample and tons and tons of storage. Um, you know, it's great for being able to get up in the creeks to explore where it's shallow or if you have a dock uh, where the depth is an issue. Um, or you go to areas where you just want to go to the beach and, and you know, hang out on the beach. You can get really, really close with an outboard. Um, it has some amenities to be able to do some light fishing if you want with your family. Um, so you can fish off the back and still kind of play with fishing. Uh, and it's totally designed to do all the water sports, your tubing and your skiing and your wakeboarding. Um, it's set up for that and with all that excess storage that you have, carrying all that gear is very, very easy. Um, it's got state-of-the-art stereo system, 
So with these young kids and, and having their Spotify's and their different things, they, they, they have their playlist, they're all about that, so they, they entertain themselves doing that. And really the way the boats are set up, it's kind of like multi-sectional. So kids usually like to go up to the bow and kind of take over that spot. The parents like to hang out in the back, use the table, have, have some lunch, have some food, hang out. And then swimming off the back, you have a nice big platform, uh, very easy to get on and off the boat. You can obviously see the engine, which is off and it's out of the way, so it's safe for everybody. Uh, and really it's spacious enough that each model gives a stepping stone for families to, as they grow to move up uh, through the line.